take a second look at as an alternative. I tried you, and you and you stood there as though the devil come with it, with, a, with an atomic explosion. You say, you say something? You didn't break your eyes. It's like, like you just like the Hebrew person. Don't, don't, don't talk to me anymore. I've already made my decision. Don't come to me and try to do or be no offer, don't give me no cop. I made my decision. I made my decision. Don't tell me what I give you to six, three more years of life. I, I made my decision already. This pill right here bring you out, it might be the pill they had over the radio the other day. The, the pill is set for kingdom vomiting and all kinds of mess coming out. <laughs> That's the stuff of it. I forgot what they call it. What they call it? Where do we do that for like this thing? We were shooting across the yard like master. Hey, we'll say to God, we will bring the thing to a close here. The great crisis. I'm assured that there are those today. This will be your crisis. You mark my word. And in a thousand years from now, you look back to me and tell me, Brother you were right. You were right. That was. God was moving on my heart, but I had some things to do, and I wouldn't do that. And I said, when I do that, then I get saved. Mm -hmm. I had some things that I, I stood to lose all of this or that or the other. But, uh, and I just didn't make the decision. I put it on the shelf and said, I'll do it later. And, but it's, it's the Bible said, you're coming to this uh, point where it's going to say, today. Today. No, no, there won't be no, there won't be no closed session after this. There'll be no extension after this. There won't be another court date after this. No, this is this is day of sentencing. No, 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 there won't, there won't be, there won't be no deferment here. There won't be no deferment here. The passage, the right there. Revelation chapter two, quickly. We don't know which test will determine our destiny. We don't know which one. So you, you got to go through all of them, right? So you can't, you can you can't select it. God selects it. But you gonna select something that favors you. See, God selected, and He had to get something that would get next to you. The one. See, it's just like the like the rabbit. They're gonna punish him by throwing him in the bride patch. You know, that, I, was, I was born there. He not punish me by putting him in the bride patch. That means you, you, you want something that, that's uh, inconsequential for you, concerned, that has little or no effect on you. Come on. Uh, that verse one, we read on down from four or five verses. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, right? Go on. These things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Go on. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candles. Yes. I know thy works. I know works. And thy labor. Go on. And thy patience. Yes. And how thou canst not bear them that are evil. Go on. And how thou hast tried them which say they are apostles. Oh my. And are not. They're really going forth. And hast found them life. Go on. And has born. Born. And has patience. My word. And for my name's what sake, has labored. Yes. And has not fainted. Yes. Nevertheless, uh -huh. I have somewhat against thee. Come on. Because thou hast left thy first love. Yes. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Now, follow it, follow it, follow it. And like, repent. You've heard this a thousand times, perhaps, but listen this morning. Come and on. do thy first works. Go on. Or else I will come unto thee quickly. Yes. And will remove thy candlestick out of his place. Yes. Except thou repent. Yes. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, okay. All right. So now, you have degraded your experience from what you had originally. You have a, all that catalog of accolades, wonderful. I'm not disparaging what you've already done, but listen, but uh, now I'm bringing the crisis. After this, either you get back all that you lost, right. under whatever circumstance, if you get the fast day of the other day, what have you got to do? You get back all that you lost, I'm going to give it a lot of time. And I know how long it should take you if you get out of business. Many people uh, are so far from what they were at one point. Their faith was right. Their humility was right. Their, their sobriety was right. Their modesty was right. And they're a thousand miles away from it. It happened so gradually they don't even recognize it. 
God said, listen, now, I'm gonna, now today, you're going to decide. Either you can get a bit with God and recover all that you lost. All of the glory that leaked out of your spirit, you're going to have to recapture it. you got to do it. Now, you, you, can, you can justify yourself if you want to. But I'm giving you a criteria here. And I'll be back for the, and I'll move the candlestick. And that's where the light comes from, so you go off in everlasting darkness. You go off in everlasting, you won't see nothing that you once saw. You won't even see how to get consecrated again. See, we think we can enjoy the luxury of getting lukewarm and half-stepping half and then jump back in and with fire in our soul. Well, let's just study that. Let's just study that. We're going to move on. We're going to conclude this. All right. That, that, that one determined whether they will continue to be a church of God or not. And it can happen in the world, and it will happen to us. God will give you the gift somewhere along the way. And may God help you, but we're not alone. Even if all of them back there, we deal with them, we're going to be the one that survived. And that's something for the word deception. And Jesus had a multitude following him. A multitude. Diligently. But when they begin to preach this gospel, they lay it down, amen, as it, under the anointing as it should be, line upon line, precept upon precept, the heart said, okay, it's too much. Too much. And you get your own standard. You evoke your own standard. It's too hard. You say, well, that's up to you. This is your crisis, right? You've been following me all this time, but, but this is your crisis. This, this is your crisis. This is your crisis. This is your crisis. This is your crisis. This, this is your crisis. You love God. I'm telling you the truth. Now, and because I'm preaching, don't mean I'm in mean, I'm I'm just as much as you are. I'm in just as much as you are. I can fuck this as easy as you can. I'm not going to be, you know, give me something nice and nice and easy just because I've done this and I've done through the years. I'm not meritorious. I don't merit, I don't merit anything. So it is indiscriminate. All right. Jesus is all right then. Are you going? This is your crisis, so you mean you're going to decide today whether you follow me or not. Now, if you're you following me in every generation, then come on. Come on. And listen. We don't know what stage of life this will occur. We don't know. We don't know. See, you, know, you, you might be, not, some people reach that crisis at 10 years old. Oh, no. Tell me about a young man once in a service in one of our cities, our large cities. And God was moving on his heart. You heard me say, tell me this before. God moved on his heart in no uncertain way. And he, he, that conviction was so strong. He said, God, just leave me alone. If you leave me alone, if you don't bother me, I won't bother you. And it's from that day until he died, he never failed to move God again. Never. He came to a crisis and he fought it off. I don't care what, whether you're a sinner or a saint. When God shows you something, it's all the same. Because the, 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 the cousin is going to be the same. The sinner rejects it if he refuses it. And the saint will, will, will die if they don't accept it. So it's all the same. What Proverbs 126 say? What the Proverbs 126 say? Proverbs 126, what does it say? My God, my God. All right? 126 Proverbs. Because I have called. Because I called. And ye refused. Ye refused. I stretched out whatever reason, For whatever reason. You, you might uh, want to ex uh, give, a, give an excuse for why you, why you refused. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. Read. I have stretched out my hand. I have stretched out my hand. And no man regards. Time and time again. And you totally disregard me. Come on. But ye have said it not all my time. I, I, I moved on you when you were 10 years old. And I moved again when you were 12 years old. Read. I moved when you were in grade school. I it's moved time. on your heart. It's time. Amen. You, and you can give away your ministry so you would get saved. Time and I moved late. on you in, in, in junior high school. Pray of God. And you were well up like this. But you wish to be rejected. Oh, and I moved on you. Preach, brother. Preach. I'm moving to your college, which is why we gotta get married for it, because we have another wild boy. The Holy Ghost is preaching, brother. The Holy Ghost is doing this, brother. What did he say? I called you. And you refused. 